Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting lemons on canvas with acrylic and telling you a little bit about why I'm making these videos. This is actually my first time ever making a voiceover, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm mostly excited. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was sketched out the lemons on the canvas and then I took the yellow and watered it down and lightly washed over all of the lemons and I did the same thing with the pink for the background. I do this because it kind of builds up the structure of what the picture is going to look like, makes it a little bit less intimidating, and you also can kind of see what tones you're going to be working with. So while I do that, I'll just tell you a little bit about why I am making these videos. I've been painting a lot recently and it's really inspiring. I want to get better at it. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm not going to be making tutorials or teaching style videos because I have a lot to learn. I'm brand new at this. And actually through making these videos, it's motivating me to do art more. And I want to learn all other types of art too, to paint with different styles of paint and to even get into other styles of art that aren't paint. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a slightly darker, warmer yellow and I'm outlining the lemons. It skipped over a little bit there, but I basically just did the perimeters of each lemon to kind of get the dimension going there. And I'm using a very, very light yellow to sort of fill in the lemons that are cut in half. Now I'm taking a bluish color. Wow, I should really learn color names if I'm going to be doing this, huh? <laughs> I'm taking a blue turquoise color to create the shadows. I know it's not a natural shadow, but actually with this painting, I'm not trying to make a realistic painting of lemons. I'm actually just doing a bright springy tone one that's more of an aesthetic kind of vibe. And you saw my cat come in there. He loves to bother me while I'm painting and sniff my water and walk across the paintings. <laughs> so I'm just building up the blue as the shadows around each lemon. I'm, now I'm taking a second color and adding that to the edge of the shadow to give it a different kind of vibe, a more shadowy look than just a solid cut of a single color. And I'm taking a almost cool tone yellow to fill in the slices of the lemon. I wanted to add some green in there, but I decided that I did not like that, so I'm just trying to cover that up here. We'll come back to that later. Now I'm just taking a different tone yellow and adding it to the lemons to build up the brightness of it and just add on to the dimension, even putting just a little bit of white in for that highlight of where the light is hitting. So back to why I'm making these videos. Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, sharing my art online, but I've been kind of nervous of what people might think um, because a lot of people might not watch these videos, but honestly, not to sound selfish, but I am kind of doing it for me. It's really motivating me to do art more and it's making my gears turn. I'm like overflowing with ideas of videos I want to make. Oh, real quick, I'm taking a little bit of burnt sienna and mixing it in with some yellow to just deepen up the lemons even more and putting that burnt sienna around the edges for that shadow. But, um,. Like I was saying, when, when you're excited about something and you find something that really fires you up and 
you know, gets you excited about something. It doesn't really matter what other people might think. Of course, I want people to see this. I want to connect with other artists on here. But it's okay if people don't. And it's okay if people don't understand why I'm making these videos. Because sometimes it's okay to just do something for yourself. So I love art. It's just something that I want to do more of. And this was a way that I could do that. I saw a girl in here that made painting using supplies from a hardware store, another girl who found unusual art supplies on Wish. There's all sorts of crazy ideas. Okay, so now I'm adding the burnt sienna to the slices. It skips again here, but I basically just added it to one edge of each slice to kind of give those that indented type of dimension. And now I'm just touching up the shadow because I was a little sloppy. When I'm painting, I go back and forth on things a lot. I redo things. You know, I'm still learning. I definitely am not someone you would want to try and follow step by step because I'm learning as I'm going. I'm making things up. You know, it's just... It's not a step by step. It's just painting, watching me paint. <laughs> So I'm trying to fix up the shadows a little bit because something about them didn't look quite right and I later will come to figure out what that is. <laughs> so I'm taking some more burnt sienna. I think that's the name of it. It's a very warm tone, almost clay brown. Not quite as red as clay, but a very warm tone brown. You can see it on my palette there. And now I'm adding some um, white and pink sloppily to the background to give it a little bit of texture. It's not meant to be a table tabletop or anything, but it just gives the painting a little more of an artsy feel to have just a little bit texture and less of a solid color as the background. And at some point, I think I just did right there, I added some little white lines to some of the lemon slices. I think I do more later, but just for where the light hits, the wet spots of the lemon on the slices, you can add some white stripes there. continuing to deepen up that shadow. So here is where I figured out what I was miss missing with that shadow from earlier with the green color. When you have um, a shadow, a lot of times it will bounce back up to what you're onto the object. So even though the blue is not the natural color of the shadow, I just put a little bit of it on the underside to show that that color is bouncing back up onto the lemon and to just kind of add that shadow onto the lemon. Now I'm just doing some final touch-ups here and there, adding a little bit more the shadows, a little more volume to them, and one last lighter blue around the edge of them. I'm sorry if this voiceover is very rambly. I'm trying to do it all in one take. This is my first time doing it. Each video I make, I hope to get a little better. So thanks for watching.